On December 16th, we finally left McMurdo aboard a LC-130 Hercules transport aircraft, a plane much smaller than the one we took down to Antarctica. We occupied jump seats on either side of the fuselage with our personal bags in the row between us and the back half of the aircraft full of cargo on its way to Sea Tan. We flew southward 370 miles along the central Trans-Antarctic Mountains towards Sea Tan. After a flight that lasted an hour and a half, we landed on the snow runway, which has to be much longer than a concrete one in order to slow down and stop an aircraft of this size. The cargo in the back of the plane was offloaded in what is known as a combat drop, that is, the palletized cargo rolls off the open back ramp of the aircraft while it's still taxiing. In actual combat situations, the plane would take off immediately after offloading its cargo. The Central Transantarctic Mountain Camp, or CTAM for short, is on the Walcott Nevi and flanked by mountains on both sides. In addition to a number of these yellow, more solid structures known as Jamesways, which house the galley, medical facilities, showers, and communications tent, there's also a tent city in which the staff and grantees live and a cargo area. The Hercs that represent our supply lifeline to McMurdo don't stay long. They are very quickly refueled, loaded with return cargo such as scientific samples and recycling from the kitchen galley, and then take off for the return flight back to McMurdo. We usually have two such supply flights every week.